not that great. And it's big deep breaths. Two to the arms, belly two to the arms, and out to the north mouth. Empty the arms. Really fill them, and then really empty them. That's a deep breath. Good morning folks i hope everyone's doing well now this is my deload week and to kind of give you the brief rundown again of what a deload is a deload week is basically and um, the fourth week of every training cycle where you lower the intensity lower the weights of what you're lifting because you're um you're basically getting ahead of your fatigue that mad dog out again today fucking what he is you're basically trying to get ahead of your fatigue and it's it, the idea is to give the nervous system a rest to allow for extra recovery and also so you prevent injury so part of my recovery week this week i'm going to head into richie feeney's uh, recovery rooms in Roscommon town and go through this the sauna the jacuzzi the compression boots and of course the dreaded ice bath so i've done the cryotherapy over in um over in australia um but i haven't actually done an ice bath before so um wish me luck giddy up and get some blood flow going to the body. So if you have an injury of some sort, uh, we will cater the, the cardio equipment towards that. Mm -hmm. uh, generally, we get people starting on the bike for about five minutes, or a machine, or air bike, okay? So you do your five minutes, get a bit of blood flow, uh, get the heart rate up a little bit. Then you have five minutes to do some foam rolling. Okay. Uh, rollers there of different um, hardnesses. Uh, we have a couple of these myofiscal uh, balls as well, um, to get into the tricky bits. Uh, we have uh, these massage guns. Now these have different settings on them. So depending on what area you're trying to work on, this would try and come down either side of your, your spine or rectum. So there's loads of different fittings there, as I said, to accommodate where you're trying to get at. So all in all, you're doing five minutes and five minutes. You were okay. 10 minutes done here. So this is all before this we go into- Oh, before okay. Yeah. Then you do, go and have a quick, quick body shower. Yeah. In and out the change rooms. You bring your towel and your water in here. And then in here, oh. you will do uh, the chirotherapy bath. I'm just trying to light here so you can get a yeah. bit of rubbing stuff. So you have the option of having a dark with the, the, the LED light. I've got this nice and canon um, for your session, um, or you can do it with lights on either. So you'll do uh, generally five minutes to the hips here, and then one minute to the shoulders. If you have an injury, we'll kind of mess around with that. It could be longer up to the shoulder, depending on where you have an injury. Um, if you're after doing a, a, a hard training session, it might only be two to three minutes in there. Um, and again, depending on what stage of your, uh, if you're doing competition, or if you're doing uh, hypertrophy, if you're doing strength, the length of time you spend in there would kind of, Determine yeah. that. Yeah, okay. Um, the idea with the, the chirotherapy bath is it's cold water, water immersion. We generally have a between, I'm between one to five degrees. Um, it, what it does is <laughs> it closes up, it gets pretty cold. And the beauty about it is is that there's, there's power jets on it. Yeah. So if you do an ice bath at home and you have your your ice put into the bath and you lie down on it, right, there's a film of, of warm water that will actually film around you mm. as a, as a preservation uh, to stop you from getting too cold but with the jets 
it's constantly moving that water, which is great because mm-hmm. it keeps everything cold for the, for the duration. Yeah. Fantastic. I look forward to that bit. Yeah, well, <laughs> the, the brilliant is you get the, the, the nasty stuff out of the way first okay. and then you can enjoy everything else. Uh, well, from there then into the jacuzzi, again, that would depend on if you had an injury. Um, I would put some in there shorter, I'm sure a shorter period of time if they had an injury because we want to stop, slow down blood flow and suddenly close up any kind of a, an injury if there's a micro tear or whatever the case may be. Um, generally, and from 10 to 15 minutes in here. Okay. You go from there over to your um, infrared sauna, uh-huh. which is uh, also known as a dry sauna. Um, that has numerous benefits. Um, it's very different get, getting into that compared to a wet sauna. As soon as you get into a wet sauna, first thing that hits you is that your nasal passage rep- respiratory system is burnt before you get mm. any kind of a stimulation or sweat going. With that, you're nearly in there four or five minutes going one minute, is this thing even working? Yeah. And then it starts to nearly, you know, the heat heating you from the inside out, which is brilliant. And it's, you, you'll never get a sweat like it, all right? I find it absolutely brilliant. Has loads of studies been done in regards to, you know, um, getting rid of toxins in the body, head speed up recovery. It also is a source of vitamin D, which mm. is very interesting. And us, really? being, us being in Ireland, we can, can't get enough of that stuff. I know yeah. you're in Aussie, you no shortage of it. Mm. But here, get anywhere you can get vitamin D, you know, we'll, we'll try and get that into us. Oh, wow, okay. And the last thing then we finish off with is on the, the Normatec boots. These are actually a medical grade uh, device that were initially designed for people who had a condition called lymphedema, right? It's a um, condition where lymph nodes in the legs block up with fat and they don't actually excrete fat. Mm. So they can get big swellings on the ankles or the quads, typically, or or mid-thigh. And what these do is go from your baby toe, basically, your big toe, right up to your hip. And they're a compression boot. So there's a pump on it, it's compressing air into various different compartments on the actual boot. So what it'll do is it'll compress the air all the way up and then it'll gradually release it from mm. the bottom to the top and then repeat the cycle again. Okay. So it's literally giving you a really steady massage yeah. from hip to toe. So the sports science guys kind of looked at this and said, well, if it's able to do that for blocked lymph nodes in terms of speeding up recovery after intense exercise, whether that's strength training, contact sport, mm. um, you know, um, non-distance running or even field sports that stuff's going to work yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, right. there's a number of attachments uh, I, I use the second one if I feel that if someone has a glute or a hip or a lower back issue I have a, I have a second attachment that I put on them as well okay so we have the legs and then you cover pretty much up to the belly button. yeah so it gets it gets the whole shebang perfect so all in all um, you're about an hour and five minutes the whole thing there's been research done on every piece of these equipment in regards to scientific data, right, and how each one works. But there hasn't been anything done yet on doing them as a collective. Oh, okay. Which is interesting. Yeah. Well, because what? What am I? The, am I the the, the research the, today? <laughs> you're the guinea pig again. Yeah. Again. You're the guinea pig. No, no better man for the job. Give but, you. Um, no, it's it's interesting that. There is so much data on each of the individual machines, mm. but not as a collective. Okay. So, we shall... We, we shall can, see. We shall see. So, it'll be interesting to see how we find it. Probably. Typically, what we do then is, when, when you're here, uh, we have a bit, a bit of TV on or whatever, and um, it's just a nice, calm and um, relaxing, chill out for, yeah. for, for uh, an hour. And, and, and uh, these boots are the last thing I do, is it? They're... Again, good question, because in some places, they will put them on you first. Yeah. Uh, what I typically do is once you come out of the sauna and uh, go get dried off, you can change your shorts, so you're kind of going in here. If you think about it right, you want your muscles nice and warm and relaxed mm. in order for, to get the most out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes and sense. when you have here, here, and this done, they're going to be nice and soft and relaxed, Pliable. so this stuff can really get to work. Okay. All right? There's no, as I said, there's no data done on all four done together. It's mm. not necessarily right or wrong to do it in any particular order. I just feel that this, for me, and from feedback from uh, doing it with people, that this generally is, is what works best. Okay, okay. I've noticed, I've noticed people that have gone to different places and yeah. done it in in a different cycle as such. Yeah. And just find that this is, you know, yeah. the, 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 the Well, I've never, I've never had an ice bath and I've never wore the boots. Yeah. So this is, the boots and the ice bath are going to be new to me today. Yeah. These are 
Okay. Amazing. And that's fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> All right. So, I get go ready. get organized. Uh, do your five and five in there. Okay. I'll give you a shout to go grab a shower, and then you're going to be in here. You Perfect. Get water in here. Giddy up. All right. Good man. Cool. <laughs> enjoy it. I'm going to say. Tell you what, I don't know what was worse. The heat or the cold. That was a struggle now, that 20 minutes. It's all tubed up here. Yep. So because we have the one on underneath, we put uh, the legs at seven, pressure seven should be okay. And then put the top row, the hip attachment on at six. Because mm -hmm. if you put two in at seven, it might just get a bit tight. No worries. And even at that, if it is a bit tight, you can always drop down the pressure a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, what do you do? How are you for time? Oh, I'm grand. No bother. Right. Normally, I do about 15 to 20 minutes, I'll give you 25. Okay, perfect. Chill the fuck out there. Good man, perfect. Okay, so we can see from this one, right? This is giving you an indication of where the pockets are filling up. Okay. Right. I don't need to touch on the thing. No, I'll be okay. back in two or three minutes when, they, 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 when they're kind of fully compressed and just make sure that you're okay. Yeah. Just sit back, relax, enjoy. And yeah. Have a cold one. Oh, good man. <laughs> <laughs> Legend. I love it. <laughs> Giddy up. So the legs are fully compressed inside these tubey things that look like the, the alien's offspring but anyway this is the first time I've actually used these compression boots so um, yeah giddy up and this is my deload week as I said already so I think I'll be in here more often giddy up right, how was that? that was great that was great I'm like I'm, I'm frozen, I was baked, I don't know, reborn. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Nick, Richie, if people want to find you and they want to or book in these recovery rooms, where do they go and how do they find you? Uh, there's an Instagram page and there's a set more uh, booking system on it. So just hit the link on the page and it'll bring you then to um, a web page where they can book a time slot and how many people want to book it for whether it's an individual session two people or a group and then we get information back and we can adjust accordingly fantastic right. well i'm a new man now after that <laughs> giddy up <laughs> hope you enjoyed this <laughs>